My name is Thomas Vale. Or at least it was. I'm a photographer. I had it all. A wife, Allison. Friends, a career. And in one moment it was all taken away. All because of a single photograph. I have it. They want it. And they will do anything to get the negative. I'm keeping this diary as proof that these events are real. I know they are. They have to be. Until recently, I've been alone in my fight to recover my life. Then, from some dark corner, an ally appeared. He claimed that he was working for the people that I'd been looking for, telling me that he wished to destroy the very organization that employs him. He opened a doorway for me. That doorway was in the form of a small palm-top computer. The files in that computer have taken me into situations that I never dreamed existed, but it still hasn't answered my most pressing questions. Why was my life erased? By whom? And what can I do to get it back? And the battles I've fought with my enemy have not compared to the ones that I've fought with myself. It's been a constant struggle to maintain the hope and faith that I will one day get my life back. As I arrived in Washington, I expected to feel elated and full of anticipation. Instead, I was overcome with fatigue and the belief that at the end of every tunnel, all I would find would be another tunnel. Would Mr. Thomas Vale please pick up the nearest white courtesy telephone? Mr. Thomas Vale, please pick up the nearest white courtesy telephone. Bus 24 from Baltimore arriving at platform 6 in five minutes. Tom Vale. One moment, Mr. Vale, I'll connect you. Good morning, Tom. I see you've been putting my little plaything to good use. Now the question is, who's getting more out of it, you or me? That depends on how you look at it, Tom. You've done considerable damage. I haven't gotten any closer to the answers. Not knowing what the answers are, how would you know that? I don't suppose you brought me here just to chat. Careful, Tom. It won't serve you well to lose your sense of humor. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to say something funny. Try this. It's time you and I met, face to face. Why? You keep treating me like the enemy, Tom. I'm your friend. I don't have any friends. Then let's say I'd like to be your friend. It's time you had your questions answered, Tom. I'm listening. Meet me at the tavern. It's on 5th. One o'clock. How will I know you? I'll know you, Tom. You'll be there. You do understand, Mr. Hale. Stick to the list of approved questions. Yes, you made that quite clear. What might not have been made clear is that in addition to the optical modifications we've made to you, we've added some security measures. My, how you people hate to lose control. That's just a click on the dial. We can turn it up. Why don't you just kill me now? You are a traitor, sir. But killing you now would be a disservice to the organization, at least while you have Mr. Vale's confidence. We expect you'll use it effectively. I don't appear to have much choice. Lie back, please. Pleasure to meet you, Tom. I'm sure I made your day. Well, in that case, perhaps I can make yours. Would you 
you have for a drink? Oh, is there something to toast? <laughs> I guess that depends on you, Tom. I don't have the answers. You do. You have more answers than you might think. Oh. Tell me something. Why is this photograph so important? Why don't you tell me? I intend to, but if I can't prod your memory, I can't help you. I need to know exactly what you recall about the events surrounding this photograph. Come on, this is old news. We all know what happened there. Amuse me. I have a, a penchant for rehashing. Why don't you go over it for me, from the beginning? Gentlemen, we're about to find out just what we've been waiting for. assignment in Nicaragua. I was counting the days until I could go home. There was a clean bed and a warm woman waiting for me back home. I was 20 minutes away from being picked up and taken to the airport when I got a phone call. The call was from Harrison Barton. Barton was the local expatriate stringer for one of the National Wire Services. For the last two years, he'd been holed up in the mountains somewhere in Chile. Vale. The word around the press corps was that he was better suited to fast women and fast living than he was to acquiring reliable news. Some said he'd been down here too long. Others simply said he was crazy. What do you want, Harry? You know, you and me, mano a mano. No, man, no. No, I haven't got time for a little you and me, mano a mano. I'm going home, man. Haven't had time for a national cover photo either, have you, Tom? Are you called to cheer me up? I called to give you the cover that you've been wanking over, you jerk off. Why do you always want to leave the dance before the girls get there? We threw. Pally, oh mine, look. What I've got's gonna blow the lid off of every major newspaper in Glossy in the States. Look what you got, Harry. can probably be cured with antibiotics. You're gonna make the same mistake you made in Iraq. And you sure left there a day early in a million dollars short. What can I tell you? The president forgot to fax me his plans ahead of time. Yeah, well, I'm here at the starting line, pal, and this is your fax. All the fax that's fit to print. Yeah, you, you go get on that plane now. I'm telling you, this is gonna make Iran-Contra look like a bake-off. Adios. It was the lady or the tiger. I thought about home and what was waiting for me. But Harrison was right, I needed a break. I needed national cover. I chose door number two. Winter's freeze still had a grip up in the Andes, but Harrison lived on low ground. At his place, it was perpetual summer. Still working too hard, Harry? Tom! <laughs> You've been here eight months, you're still a handsome bastard. Never looked that good even before I started drinking. I'm a few ahead of you here. Uh, Yolanda Cerveza, pronto. Hey, take a load off. Okay. I'm here. What's the scoop? Oh, cut to the chase. Huh? Look, you got me here. I know it wasn't to discuss the wife and family. <laughs> it took me five beers to get here. Don't chip me down, bud. Besides, we don't talk about wife and family here. Do it out of Porque tú y tu amigo simpático están pagando. Dice lo tú quieres. She likes you. Gracias. Beautiful women down here. <laughs> Have you sampled the local menu? No, thanks. I like to eat at home. You're a stalwart. I'll give you that. But boy, you are missing out on something. I don't tell you. The girls here, they don't know what to do for you next. <laughs> and speaking of the local menu, pick me up. The motor's running here. 